everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3! In the last episode, well, this happened. <sighs> I can't even believe that we're a monkey right now. And not only are we a monkey, but we are a monkey who is enslaved to this fucking douche cake who basically shocks the monkey whenever he feels like because he's an asshole. Like, seriously, what the hell, man? This game is insanity when it comes to how the story, how the story is being told. Like, Jesus, man. That was the last thing I would have ever expected. Like, I remember seeing the, the, the merchant dude earlier on, but I would have never guessed that he was going to become the character we... Well, we're not really playing as him, but we're playing as the monkey that he has enslaved. Which is even more ridiculous. And kind of awesome in a weird way. Here's the brown building I was on the way to in the end of the last episode. At least I found it quickly. Okay, so I had a flea charm at the last end episode, too. Yeah, yeah, let's put that shit on. We got the flea charm, and I just picked up that bracelet. We are good. We are good. Alright. Looks like there's a dog guarding... Is that a dog? And, uh, what's the green thing on his head? What's up with this thing? Is a wolf? Dog? Wolf? Dog? Dog? Listen, monkey. That's a cactus wolf. The meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. Aw, oh, fuck you, buddy. Cactus wolf, huh? Cactus Wolf. Alright. He looks it looks kind of like very detailed and awesome, I'm not gonna lie, but he's literally just a wolf with a cactus on his head. Alright, let's uh I don't know, try to do something to him. Salsa's feelings didn't get through. Well that's lame. Ow. I mean facade's gonna do all the real damage anyways, so let's see if laughing works. Okay, laughing doesn't seem to work. Or making him laugh rather. He almost killed me in one hit there. Beef jerky time! Uttering in a low growl. Meanwhile, Facade's busy whooping his ass. How about we dance for him? Dancing. Got that defense up. Fighting attack. Ow. Alright. Uh, let's use Monkey Mimic and see if it works. Cactus Wolf did a headbutt. Salsa did a cactus headbutt. Ooh, nice. Let's do that again. That actually seems like the best move. Doing the same ability they do to you is a good idea. Boom, bitch. All right, I'm gonna heal again. I do have these running bombs. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna heal yet. I'm just gonna use a running bomb right now. Boom, bitch. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I think I'll heal. How much... What is... Um dung do again? Uh, it just says dung beetles can't help themselves from rolling that around, so it doesn't do shit. Fair enough. Then I will eat the last of my jerk. Probably should have went back and fought some more of those, those lizards to get some more healing items. Oh well. Oh well. Just gonna have to survive, man. Boom, bitch. Come on, die. Yes! Yes! Ah, it's a good thing Facade actually helped with that and didn't make me do all the work. Alright, big jump in level. I like it. I like it a lot. Got some beef jerky for victory as well. Eat that, Cactus Wolf. Eat that. Alright, what the fuck is up with this building? Whatever it is, he apparently had the key to open it. Get in, you! Oh, um, alright. I gotta obey. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill my girl. Can't let him kill my monkey booty. Oh god, we got this weird music again, if you can call it music. So what, is this like the mother base for these motherfuckers, or what? Bug spray, okay. Cockroach! We can actually fight the cockroach. Whoa! Very similar to how they looked in Earthbound, I remember this. Eat, shit, and die, cockroach. Holy fuck. Violent roach indeed. Holy shit, it whooped the hell out of me. Good lord. Nut bread. Worth it for the nut bread. Alright, coo, coo, coo. Alright, where are we going? Yeah, it's worth it's worth fighting these Papa Roach motherfuckers. For war sure. Um Yeah, just beat them down. Probably need to heal though. 
Just as soon as you get a nut bread, you need to use. Oh shit! Don't use no, no, no! Are you serious? Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! I hit him first both times, and then when I want to heal, he hits first. That's bullshit. Oh my! Fuck that! Can we get him back over there without fighting anything? Probably. That's stupid, though. My goodness. What a dumb thing. Yeah, yeah. Open sesame, please. Damn it. What a garbage death. All this crap again. Stupid, stupid crap. Crap. Fucking cockroach over here. F you, cockroach! Throw a bomb at him. Oh my goodness. Jesus. I guess bombs work well against cockroaches. Good to know. Now, this thing, what is it? Underground map. Okay. I don't, I don't, I mean, I was gonna actually look at it and then I ran into the battle, so let's, let's destroy a, let's destroy the cockroach first. Cockroach! Got him. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, going up to level nine. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, covered in sriracha sauce. Alright. Oh, bug spray! That's what I should have used. Um, how badly am I hurt? 30, uh, uh, I'm, well, I'm still good. Um, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. Oh, uh, the map. There we go. Underground map. Here we are. I, uh, that doesn't seem very useful to me. A hey, stupid monkey, look here. What am I looking at? This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tams Tasmili. It take an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of an eye. <laughs> okay, you get all that? Yeah, I got it. Use that ladder to get down. There. Um. All right. Let me go ahead and grab this first. This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalizing machine. In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you, just like a good night's sleep. Under no circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you. But I'll give you special permission to use it for now. Yeah, thanks, since I'm fucking defending you, piece of shit. We'll take the free healing, because good thing I didn't use my damn nut bread. I'm glad I didn't now, now that I'm doing, got to use the vitalizing machine. Awesome. Alright, save it up with my frog friend over here. Go ahead and use the other save spot. Please be careful out there. Give my frogs to the give my frogs to the next frogs you frog. Ancient banana, ancient banana. Is that a weapon or a thing? Causes an enemy to slip and fall, inflicting damage. Okay, it's not an equipment thing, is it? No. Well then, ancient banana indeed. Hey, don't get in, you stupid monkey. All right, I won't. All right, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving. Press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. Alright. You get all that? Yeah. Then get in! Okay. Alright. Get in the pork bean. Alright. In the pork bean we go. Pork and paint. Whoa. Whoa! Look how fast it moves. That's awesome. Okay. So based on the map, probably need to go this way. Yeah, probably. Let's see what's over here first, though. Pork bean! Okay, there's not a whole lot going on over here. Okay. Just checking. Gotta take a look around, man. Gotta take a look around. Pork bean for the win! Oh, shit. Wrecking enemies all up in the way. Oh! Oh! Pork beaning across the world! Huh. I thought it was all gonna be underground shit, but that was not underground at all. That was just outside. Interesting. Interessante, indeed. Alright. Uh, ooh, the tanks are here. Okay. We found the tank thing. Found another frog. What's going on in this room? Okay, what's down here? Oh, whoa! Look at all that stuff in there! Can't get through this chain link shutter. 
Well, that's disappointing because I would really love to be. I want to grab these treasures real quick. Hold up. Oh, come on. Really? Did I put it in the way? Ugh. Oh, well. Chick bandana. Okay. Yes, get in the pork beans so I can move it out of the goddamn way. I didn't mean to get it in my way. Get it out of the way so I can fucking grab whatever the hell is in here. Alright, nut bread. Actually, we probably have to leave the bean here anyways because I don't think we can go... Well, actually... Never mind. I thought we were going up here by the monkey and leaving, but no. Also, this place is called Candrum Underpass. I just realized. I didn't even realize the name of it. But now I have realized my realization of realizationness. Anyway, I imagine we'll be back down here eventually, so... We shall wait till that time. Parking spot! Gotta love that there's actually a parking spot. Alright, bug spray for the win. Alright, what's going on here? There's something guarding the thing. Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. Alright, I haven't tried to throw any while we're indoors, but thanks for letting me know. And you got a running bomb! Well, isn't that just co -a dinkle What the hell are these things? Gooey goo! You eat you, more like. Don't throw a smoke bomb, he said, or a running bomb. Game told me not to. I also forgot to equip this. Whoops, I didn't mean to use it. That was an accident. I pressed the wrong button. Great, now I'm just gonna get wrecked by a bunch of gooey goos. You eat you. And I just automatically attacked again, too, because I'm stupid. Well, that's just great. I'm having such a good time. I'm fucking shit up. Alright, I guess we're gonna eat some jerk. Or no, we'll just eat the bread. We don't need the jerk right now. Eat the bread. Eat, eat the bread. Eat, eat the bread. Eat, eat the bread. Stop hitting me with stuff that I cannot defend against. Stop being a bitch, you bitch. Facade is a bitch. I need you to kill one of these guys right now, Facade. Without you fighting, I'm super fucked. They keep digesting me, and it's not cool. There you go, see? That makes it a lot more doable, sir. Don't hit me. Don't gooey goo me. There you go, see? That's all you had to do. See, now I can heal, and we're safe. We're all good. Don't split. Don't make more go Ah, not more gooey goo. Thought I was about done with you. You can't make more gooey. Oh, don't do it again. Thank God it failed. Oh my God, right now. I am not about to fight more gooeys. No, thank you. No, not again. Please keep failing. Thank you. No, don't do it again. Fuck! Ah, it's Final Fantasy 3 nightmares all over again. And I mean the real Final Fantasy 3, not Final Fantasy 6. God damn it. Ah. Stop with the splitting and such, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Please keep failing. Ah, we got him. Jesus. Okay. Holy crap, 410 experience. That is nice. Mosquito charm. Nice. Nice. That was a fucking whooping I laid down on those gooey goos. I didn't expect to get that much HP or fucking stuff for that. That's nice. That's real nice. Real nice. Alright, so we can put that bandana on now. Flea charm is better than the mosquito or the mosquito charm is better than the flea charm. I guess the monkey doesn't get a weapon. At least not anytime soon. Oh, uh, it comes out in the graveyard. Okay. Definitely interesting. To the south is a, of this cemetery is a village. There's a place called, they're called the Yado Inn, where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Alright, that's where we're headed now. This accent I'm doing for this guy is atrocious. But it needs, it needs to be a thing. Oh god, zombies. Zombies. Fighting a zombie. It is nighttime in the graveyard. I shouldn't be surprised by zombies. We've already met the zombies. They're not a new thing. Fuck a zombie up. Uh. Alright, alright, alright.
right, and we went up another level. Worth it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go to that Yato Inn, shall we? By the way, yeah, that cave's still blocked off. You know, I didn't actually check over there. Once the tanks came out, it looks like that's the direction they came from. Oh, remember the kid? We, I, I think this is the merchant that traded him for his for his whatever he traded him for. I forgot what he traded him for. Well, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it your liking? Oh, this is this already happened. Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just counting to see how much is in there. <laughs> just please be careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. Yes, okay. So this is after he already fucking... What do you call it? Uh, corrupted the kid with money. So that's a thing. All right. Well then. Oh, the village is. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, see, this is the. Okay, see, this is the moment where Duster ran into him. Okay. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Help me! Help me! Duster says no words. Okay then. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really sure of that either. After all, we've never had it in Tasmili before. But apparently, an air of money is about to start. Huh? What's an air of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. And then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Yeah, I don't know about all that, now that I know about the guy. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Oh, uh, and the fucking merchant dude was right there. Was he there when that happened before, too? I don't remember. Duster, this secret is just between you and me. I didn't remember seeing the merchant there. Maybe he was there that whole time. Or maybe he just wasn't you weren't able, able to see. Maybe the screen was a little more panned up so you couldn't see him. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing we take the money. Yeah, I figured. Wait, what? We put it back? Oh, okay. Well we're bre we're definitely gonna end up taking it. Come on now. Seriously. His money was gone at the end of, of the Duster chapter, which means it's definitely going to get taken. Anyway, we're here to stay at the end, bro. How much is a lodging fee, my good man? Uh, fee? There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still, it's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little salsa, where's your thank you? There you go. Eee, how cute! Well then, if you'll excuse us, let's go to our room, shall we? This motherfucker's corrupting the whole town with money, man. Not cool. Oh, hello. Can I help you? No, I'm just a monkey. Hey there, monkey. Do you not have a girlfriend? Oh, you did not just say that. That's that's the most jacked up piece of dialogue I ever saw. Oh, good evening. Come on, man. Don't question if he's got a girlfriend. He's a fucking monkey. And yes, I have one. I just don't have her with me, man. It's not my choice. It took away. You're going to work hard for me starting tomorrow. I'm going to sleep. You're going to stand watch. Now go to sleep. What if I don't... Whoa, that motherfucker just immediately passed out. And the monkey sleeps ass up. Alright. Oh, alright. Alright. Oh, alright. Oh, he went out at night. 
which means we gotta go see what he's up to, that little bastard. But we're gonna save it first because it's always good to save a lot, save often, you never know when things go wrong. Hmm, should we look everywhere or should we just, I guess we're just gonna follow, I'm assuming he's gonna go steal the money, that's what I'm assuming he's doing right now. Whoa, somebody's calling on a cell phone or something? You've arrived at Ojo Saikas, Ojo Haikalsu, good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair and a gloomy feel. Slightly bad breath and looks kinda like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. I didn't talk to him with facade, but I assume we probably could have. Yeah, okay. I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. Alright. Stole the money. What a douche. Douche. Now we're gonna go say what's up. Oh, shit. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Ow. Did you think? Ow. You could run away from me? No. I was just... That's why. You're such a stupid monkey. This is fucked up, man. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to your room and sleep. And I gotta listen, otherwise he's gonna shock the monkey some more. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh! Ah, oh, damn it. But you know, if you were going to run away, I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. Like trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk around without making any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> okay. I believe he just gave us some ideas. Oh shit, wait, what? Are we just having sad flashbacks right now? Or what, what's happening? Not my girlfriend! Is this just to emphasize how much we should hate this guy or what? What's going on right now? What's with the flashback? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Do they think I already forgot about this or... God damn it, stop shocking the monkey, you ass. God damn it, fucking shit. <laughs> Wakes him up with that too, that's so jacked up. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. No, you won't. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Yeah, yeah. Fuck your shit. I'm gonna... Mm, man. They made a really good job at making this guy a douche. Like, really. They did a really good job. He is ridiculously hateable. Like, ridiculous. Much more carefree until recently. I wonder what today's weather will be like. Probably not good. Anyway, what's going on out here today? Let's see. Are they doing a monkey show? They're doing a monkey show, aren't they? Probably gonna have to do all the little moves at the right time. Come, gather round. Come, one and all, fair denizens of, of Tasmili. Congratulations are in order for the work, hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Should we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. 
odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests, and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we all live in? And that's not all! Not by a long shot! The word on the wind says that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily! Wait, what? What are we talking about, man? Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. Yep, indeed. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. Everybody's just leaving. They're like, fuck this guy. How exactly did little salsa here manage to find happiness, you ask? All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? One girl. Oh, farmer dude over there. Uh oh. Okay, little salsa. Go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. Alright. You, what's your name? I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I guess not. I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it's really that easy to be happy. Alright. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff is somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Alright, I guess... Oh, wait. This dude over here is raising his hand. I didn't even notice. I'm beef. I'm not really... Uh, I forgot what kind of voice I gave him, but... I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. Alright. I guess that's everybody. Everyone! If even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right with the world. Alright. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you want to do that you want happiness after all, please feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize I had to do another move. Take care. Another one. Now then, come along, little salsa. Let us return to the Yato Inn. Okay. Oh god, he's got another phone call. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did, what did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough. All right. I'll be right over there once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. All right, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Beef, Isaac. Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. Okay. If you can't do it in another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than, more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey, I'll make sure that to punish that curly monkey too. Got it? Uh, yeah, I got it. Sh he still shocked me. What an asshole. Then get it to it already. Alright, before I click the button, because it looks like we're about to do a thing that's going to take... We have to do it in a time limit. I'm going to hit the frog real fast and I'm going to save and quit immediately. And, uh... That'll do it for this episode of Mother 3. <sighs> Perfect timing for this. So in the next episode... We have 23 minutes to deliver all presents to Abby, Abit, Biff, and Isaac. Hopefully I remember where they live. If I don't, well, this is going to be a fun 23 minutes. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace! Oh, shit, wait, hold on. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer for the kindness of my heart. Because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful. <laughs> Alright. Now we see you later. Pieces.